This time I'm going to demonstrate how I make my own Greek yogurt using no special ingredients or special equipment. To make Greek yogurt, you really only need milk, starter yogurt, a large pot, cheesecloth, and thermometer. To help keep the milk from scorching, rinse the pot with cold water first. Then pour the milk into the pot. You're going to need to heat the milk to 180 degrees while stirring frequently, and then keep it there for about 10 to 20 minutes for best yield. It'll take a minute, so bring some entertainment. Next, quickly cool the yogurt to 110 degrees in a sink of cold water. Then pour it into a pre-warmed crock pot. Next, add a few tablespoons of live cultured yogurt. I used Chobani to start with, but now I save some from each batch for my next batch. Whisk it in. Then, to keep the temperature near 110 degrees for the longest amount of time, cover the crock pot with a thick towel. I heat the oven for one minute, then turn it off leaving the light on. Leave it overnight for about 12 hours. In the morning, you'll have yogurt, but it will be much thinner than Greek yogurt, so you'll need to strain it. Line a colander that's over a pot with cheesecloth and pour the yogurt in. You can leave it to drain like this, or you can speed the process by gathering the corners of the cheesecloth, tying a knot, and suspending it over a colander. It'll take about four hours to drain in the colander, but only about two hours if you suspend it. When it's all done, you'll have whey in the pot and yogurt in the cheesecloth. Transfer the yogurt into a large bowl. It will be lumpy, so you'll need to whisk it till it's nice and smooth. I eat my yogurt plain with some walnuts added for lunchtime, but if you want to add some sweetener, you could do that at this point. Honey, maple syrup, agave, whatever you like. I like to ladle the yogurt into individual cups for my convenience. It will thicken as it cools in the refrigerator. The whey doesn't need to be discarded. I strain out milk solids through a coffee filter and refrigerate it for use in future recipes. So for the cost of one gallon of milk, I get one starter cup for my next batch and 10 lunch-sized servings of delicious homemade Greek yogurt. Enjoy!